the technology enablers are now there and we're going to be making that transition just as we are into self-driving cars into things like digital currency transactions without hardly even noticing it. For example, when you buy that cup of coffee at Starbucks and you pay on your mobile phone, it could be that the application program interface in your phone last week flipped from using your bank account to a payment system based on digital currencies. And you might have gotten a brief notice with five pages of fine print saying, I agree at the end. And as long as you hit that button, you just made that transition without noticing it. I think it could be at the consumer level as quick as that. That's not to say that it's simple. Hundreds of billions of dollars of technology, software and hardware, need to be uh, built around this, particularly software, and a lot of legal work and a lot of regulatory work. And the central banks have to go along with it before it'll be allowed because it's a concern. It's part of the money supply, and central banks will be responsible for monitoring that. And there are some countries that are thinking about it. China, Sweden, those are two countries that are currently contemplating introducing digital currencies at the national level through the central banks of those countries. So change is coming, and I'm very interested in studying the implications of that change.